tinkering at their edges. The machine was the perfect capitalist venture, servicing all segments of the market, all genres, all tastes. The bottom had fallen out of the market for musicians, except for those styles where the machine had difficulties. The machine lacked sufficient authenticity and capability, some described it as belief, to make music for religious purposes. It couldn't make Christian music, but it also couldn't make music that worshipped the devil. It seemed that not enough data sets were available to construct a proper model based either on faith or the negation of it. They tried one particular data set, which infected all aspects of production. Children's music took a nasty turn when exposed to negative faith data sets. When they mixed this data set with a faith-based data set, the machine stopped producing music. Analysts suggested that the machine was conducting an internal battle between good and evil. They could see from the various activity monitors that something was happening, but no sound would emerge. They almost lost the whole venture. From this point onwards, it became company policy to run these sorts of experiments in an isolated, off-site facility to limit potential contamination to the wider system. The machine was too important to allow it to be compromised and destabilised by existential crises.